guest is an Emmy and Tony nominated actor who stars in the Disney Plus series Loki, which has its season finale this Wednesday. Here is Tom Hiddleston. Tom, uh, hey, Jimmy. Tom, we act, we have a full audience finally, and so that's where we're going crazy. We love you, bud. Thank you for uh, coming on our show. We appreciate it, buddy. Uh, where where are you right now? Uh, I'm in London. Okay. Oh, oh thank you for uh, doing this. It must be either late or early. Uh, so thank you. <laughs> It's, it's, you know, it's fine. It's okay. like 10. Okay, good. It's, uh, 10's fine. Uh, 10's yeah. fine. Yeah, absolutely good. Uh, I, I'm, I'm happy you're here. Uh, last time you were on the show, we actually were, we announced, I think, that you were going to, to, to bring Loki, to, to do Loki again. Uh, before that, you thought that it was the end. You've done, your Loki days were over. I did, well, first of all, you was, I remember exactly coming onto a show and you being, the, I think, pretty much the first person to announce that it was happening, and you were so kind. And I appreciate it. Um, but yes, um, I. I, um, I, uh, I really did think it was the end. I mean, I th thought it was the end a couple of times, to be honest. There was once after Thor <laughs> yeah. the Dark World, um, and then after in Avengers Infinity War, which you remember the opening, a few minutes of that film felt pretty conclusive. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's a great way to put it. Yeah, I would say <laughs> you know, so. It's kind of hard to come back from that. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you think big so. Big purple guy with the big glove and, you know, anyway. There was a big round of applause on set and lots of, you know, lovely notes from the studio saying, you know, we love you, Tom, and come and see us any time. You'll always be part of the family. And um, I hung up my boots and said, <laughs> yeah. said goodbye. It was a proper goodbye. Yeah. And but then no, a couple but years later, Loki's yeah. Loki's never say that. Yeah. It's, that's the thing about Loki is he just... Uh, what they sort of say about Loki is like, I'm Loki, uh, and when I die, I don't. <laughs> uh, can, for anyone who hasn't seen the, uh, there's, there's five episodes out, correct, right now? Uh, for anyone who hasn't yes. seen this, can you explain the premise of Loki? Yes, okay. Um, good <laughs> idea, very briefly. Uh, the heavy um, lifting to you, yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, in Avengers Endgame, you remember, the Avengers from 2019 go back in time to 2012 and there's a whole situation with two Tony Starks and uh, Ant-Man is there and um, they make the Hulk take the stairs and he bursts through a hallway and bumps into 2019 Tony and the suitcase with the Tesseract goes flying yes, that's and it rolls it. to yes. feet and he picks up the Tesseract and he disappears in a puff of smoke and where he goes next is where we start. He sort of improvises for a bit, and then he's um, apprehended by this organization called the TVA, which is an organization that claims to govern the order of time. Um, but maybe the most important information you need to know is that Owen Wilson is an analyst for yeah, the TVA. Yeah, exactly. That's correct. And he's, <laughs> you guys are fantastic together. Owen, well, you guys are great okay. together. Uh, it's, Thank you. Uh, did you, did you. Have you worked together before? Yes, we worked together in Midnight in Paris, yeah. Um, but this is the first, like, it really extensive, um, really extensive. We did, like, we made this show across the pandemic and got to know each other very well. And he is just great. It was one of those things that was meant to be. So he plays Mobius. And Mobius is somebody who is, is like an academic and he's an expert in Loki and he knows more about Loki than Loki. And, and um, we have these really amazing long scenes together um, where Mobius confronts Loki with his true self and almost sees him without judgment and with compassion. It's kind of confronting for Loki because he's normally used to everybody being kind of emotionally involved. Like Thor's like, he you know, gets enraged by Loki and Odin gets enraged by Loki and, and Mobius is like, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. That's what it was talking um, about. Exactly right, yeah. yeah. But it was cool. It was like, um, you know, it was like a big, uh, it was like a game of tennis every time because we had these long scenes together and used to talk about, you know, um, put a different sort of spin on the ball. And, <laughs> um, uh, and in the end, we talked about it so much, we had to actually play some tennis. Um, <laughs> Did and, you actually um, play tennis? 
Yeah. How did yeah. That, can Owen play? Uh, so he certainly can. And um, I, I don't know, I somehow, I somehow thought, like, maybe I just knew he'd be an athlete, but I didn't quite expect the level of control on the ball. Like, let <laughs> really? it be known. If, it's, if yeah, this well is an exclusive, done. Owen Wilson is... Uh, is, is uh, I lost, is what I'm trying to say. Well, OK, yeah, OK. Yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but it doesn't really it doesn't matter. Uh, you guys are fantastic on the screen together, and Disney Plus never fools around. They always uh, they, you get up above and beyond with every script and every uh, thing they do. I will say the effects uh, are amazing. These are movies that are on your your stream. They are great. Uh, this yeah. is we, we we met a bunch of new Lokis uh, this last week, and uh, one was Alligator Loki. <laughs> this is Alligator Loki. But, but, but then we got the exclusive. This is what you were acting with on set. This is the alligator Loki that we're using. <laughs> uh, yes. Is it hard to work with that? Uh... Look, I mean, look at him. A, a huge star. He's not even getting up out of his chair. <laughs> um, he's, you know, he's like, yeah, I'm here. You know, when do, when do you need me? Um, are you ready for my close-up yet? Yeah, hurry um, up. Yeah, we're losing yeah. light, stuff like that. It was, it actually was funny because, because, like, I mean, obviously he's made together sort of these three discarded cushions sewn up with, with, with <laughs> some eyes on. Um, and we would, I would, I mean, I have to, with, like, no offense to Alligator Loki, clearly the superior Loki. Um, <laughs> but I would sometimes, you'd be doing a scene and you'd think, okay, so we're going to get the wide shot and then the two shot and we'll, do Owen's coverage and and everyone get everyone's close-ups and coverage and you think okay I think that was that felt like a great scene I think I think we're done I think we could, we, we're moving on and we'd all sort of wrap with oh guys that was a great scene it was a great scene see you tomorrow and somebody would say hang on a second we have to shoot we have to shoot the uh, alligator. the alligator <laughs> and I just forget he was there it's shot sorry yeah I put my microphone <laughs> back on. Let's do it. The alligator wants one more take. Okay, no problem. Yeah, he's yeah. just, uh, you know, uh, uh, the sun's going down. There's other Loki news I, I want to quickly discuss. One is, uh, now we're a big fan of The Simpsons here on our show, and uh, they did a short film uh, of The Simpsons Loki yes. crossover that is fascinating. You can see on Disney Plus, it's streaming right now. It's called The Good, The Bart, and The Loki. <laughs> and it is. Uh, You're right there. How is it working with those guys? They're brilliant, right? They know what they're doing. I, I have to tell you, Jimmy, I mean, honestly, like, I grew up on that show. I mean, I, if I had gone, I could go back in time and, and yeah, you tell can. myself. Like, you you can. can. You, you're Loki. You can, can go back in time. Just go back. Yes, yeah. do this. You uh, must go back and tell yourself like, what you're doing now. <laughs> Well, you know, 10-year-old Tom would be doing backflips that he is in a scene with Homer Simpson. Um, yeah. I mean, look, I, he is like, I can't believe it when I watch it that I'm in a scene with Homer and Bart yeah. and Lisa. Yeah, um, it's wild. But uh, it's, it's great. It's such an honor. I mean, they are, they are geniuses, uh, and um, it's really, really fun. There's also a thing uh, uh, called What If, which is coming out for any Marvel fans out there. Yeah, uh, and, yeah. And, and basically, it is, it's, it's animated, but basically is that. What if blank happened? What if uh, these people were never, uh, they never fought? These people were friends? What if That's this... right, yeah. It, what, it's sort of, I think it was based on a run of comics um, that actually were released or published. And it, there's, it's like, what if, you know, um, Loki wasn't adopted? What if uh, Peggy Carter was the one who got the serum? What if the Ravagers kidnapped T'Challa instead of Peter Quill. This kind of, yeah. what if some major event in history had actually gone the other way, and what reality would we be living in now? And it's kind of a great premise. Like, um, yeah, they're really and, doing it. Uh, up. Was, yeah. I, so they've made. They've Disney made, gave us made, an exclusive uh, shot of Loki. What you look like in What If? And here it is. Right here, we're debuting this. Thank you, Disney. There you go. There you go. That's an exclusive right there. Yeah. Uh, this is exciting. This is, we're, this is all Loki all the time. I, <laughs> well, I, I actually haven't seen that. Um, and, uh... <laughs> Loki, yes, you have. 
You were back you in time what? at one point, and you and saw. I, and I drew it myself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just said, look, this guy needs his own animated show. The best thing about that is that I didn't have to get up and wear all that metal and leather. <laughs> yeah, you know, that was all and voice. Was there's a microphone, and it's like, oh, I, I think I can. This is, I think this is, I think this is good. This is going to be fun. Uh, um, but I am intrigued because I haven't seen the whole thing, and I know they've got like, they've got everybody from the Marvel universe to voice their characters. Um, and uh, Jeffrey Wright, you know Jeffrey Wright, the great yes. Jeffrey Wright. I love him. He is. He's playing this character called the Watcher, who is sort of an observer of all of these different things, and um, and then it sets up a whole bunch of stuff in. The MCU, which I know nothing about, and um, um, that's the norm. See. You're not allowed to say anything. The, the, the finale of Loki, which, by the way, has been the show of the summer, is this Wednesday night. You set it up now. There's a bunch of we realize there is a bunch of different Lokis. Um, can you set up anything for what we're about to see Wednesday? And I'm assuming you can't, but can you? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, well, um, come on, man. Like, I, I, I know. Well, yeah, I, but I, well, I suppose what I can tell you is if you if you followed the show thus far, um, you know, I think the audience, well, all the characters and the audience have a number of questions about this TVA, the Time Variance Authority. Like, who, who made it? What is it? Who Ooh. runs it? Yes. Is it run by... Anyone or wow. anything? Yes. Who created it? Yes. Um, yes. And all I can say. Wow! Is... You're saying a lot. <laughs> Time will tell. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Come on. <laughs> that's exactly what you want to hear. Time will tell. Mm. I'm going to figure out what that means. Tom Hiddleston, everybody, the one and only. The season finale of Loki is available this Wednesday on Disney Plus. Hey, hey.